complex. Can I try? Sure. Zero. That's like a basic great. arrangement to how like the oscillators are in one place and the effects are in another place. Not right? that I'm aware of. Uh, each so each, each unit was custom and they had different, you know, you bought different modules, you ordered different bunches of modules. I mean, we have three sequencers here, you know. And oh, I see. Some boxes. Like this is one module, this That's right. little square. And they actually come from different time periods in the history of Buchla, if you look at them. Yeah. So these say CBS music instruments, because CBS bought everything. Yeah. They bought Fender guitars, the N amps, they bought um, Moog, you know, Bob Moog had to work really hard to get his name back, which he finally did, you know, only a couple of years ago. Uh, and Buchla, likewise, they, they were all at some time purchased by CBS. Uh, the, the earliest units say San Francisco Tape Music Center, yeah. because Don Buchla was the second engineer at the San Francisco Tape Music Center, and this machine became really famous when, when um, Mort Subotnik did Silver Apples in the Moon. Yeah. You know, and it was Mort, Pauline Oliveros, and Ramon Sender who founded that studio. And, um, and uh, Don Buchla really talked to them about what they wanted to be able to do. And he designed these things. He just, in fact, I think I heard Pauline say that, that um, you know, I said, gee, it would be nice if we could, you know, automate certain things and the next day he came in with a sequencer. You know, so yeah. Like this, he was so, he's so sharp and so fast and uh, came in with all these things. So the other thing we can, uh, that's really everyone loves about this, and can be a kind of trap, but I'm going to show it to you as the sequencer. Okay. Okay. To get this going, you need to trigger, so you take all pulses from this pulse generator here to the input. And that starts it moving. Okay. And this is simply moving as fast as I set it right now. But I can awesome. program in rhythms, control this with voltage too. So let's just let it go that way first. Let me get a couple other control cubes. And we can take our voltages instead of taking it from here. Right. I'll still trigger things from here just for the heck of it. Um, what if we take see A, B, C voltages here, which correspond to A, B, C. Right. And now each time this, a stage moves, it's putting out a different voltage, which is going to give you what? A different pitch. Because the voltages are controlling the oscillator. Right. And the filter's going, and the gate's opening and closing according to Well, that's not doing anything. But B is. B, B is now controlling the filter. Probably too, yeah, too, too narrow. Now, now, now. Okay, and I can slow that down. And that's random, the sequencer? Or no. You can set up the pitch. It's actually very specific. And right now it's, it's on repetitive. Yeah. It's set it at repetitive. But um, maybe move that way just to switch. Totally yes. blocking. Uh, well, it's just, it's, you know, I can edit yeah. this stuff together maybe later and show other people or leave it behind. So uh, repetitive, you can switch to single pulse here. And then particularly if this output was not going through a gate. Let's just, we'll just listen to it. Can make my tune. Switch it back to repetitive. What's the but start? repetitive is regular, so I'm going to show you. Well, start, single, stop, single pulse. Single pulse. So that's what you I was pressing it just to advance it, yeah. so that I could tune each one, so that it would stay there until I pressed it. But um, start, stop is in case you wanted to go once and then stop. Okay. You can take. You can do this. And, and you can take a trigger to start it, and, and if that's set to. 
let's see. Is that the tempo? If it's set to start stop, it'll stop when it gets to there now. It should. Okay. These. The pulse length. Please stop. There it goes. Pulse length is the way of making the rhythm. Uh, because this is going according to a clock very even now. When it's set internal, it just goes evenly. Let's do it repetitive again. Um, but let's say I take one of the voltage outputs and put it so that it goes into here. Set that to external, right? So you can trace everything out. So I want to go here. And, and now this B voltage output these are controlling how long each. And can you set each one independently? Yep. To make a rhythm. See? And you still got your. I do. I still have the. Still have the. Yeah. I mean, I could um, bypass this envelope. There are a couple of ways to do it. Let's do it this way. Yeah, actually, there's uh, the Chase class is okay, starting, great. so I'll have to... Anyway, that's enough to absorb yeah, for I think, one I think day anyway. And then right. so the, thing, the, the only important prohibition here mm -hmm. is with the audio, uh, inputs to outputs, outputs to inputs, never inputs to inputs or outputs to outputs. You actually could damage something. Okay, yeah. inputs to outputs.